Iris T SLM or the infrared imaging system, tail thrust vector controlled, surface launched medium range system. The surface to air missile system is being deployed with the Ukrainian army and is based on the Iris T missile which started its operation in 2005 and can be used as an air-to-air -air missile on fighter jets where it can actually cover 360 degree attack capability but has later been implemented to shoot ground to air as well as firing air to ground. The missile is fairly small at under 3 meter long and a diameter of 127 mm or 152 mm depending if it's air to air or ground to air. The Iris T SLM is the newly developed medium range version put out in operation in 2022. It has 40 km range and can shoot up to 20 km in altitude. The missile uses GPS and inertial navigation with radar data link if ground launched, with infrared homing in the terminal phase. The missile travels at Mach 3 and uses a high explosive blast fragmentation warhead with either impact or proximity fuse to maximize hit to kill ratio. As a flexible missile being able to be implemented and fired at numerous targets such as fighter jets, drones, cruise missile with more how effective have the system been in Ukraine, which is seeing real-life combat? The producer of the system claims a 95% accuracy against intended targets, but the manufacturer and countries adopting a SAM system often exaggerate to exude strength. Russia often claiming their SAM system is unbeatable in all sectors, but while effective, when put in real-life battle, the result don't support Russia's narrative, as for example Russia's Panzer, which was used to defend the Antonovsky bridge from HIMARS attack. Since Ukraine launched numerous attacks on the same target, Russia had the best possible condition to shoot down the GMLRS and claimed often 70-100% to hit accuracy while videos and photo evidence show between 0 and 20% interception. The Ukrainian army has boasted about high interception rate as well, of up to 100% of targets in some cases with the Iris T. These have most recently been cruise missile like the KH-101. While impossible to verify this completely, the large number of video evidence of intercepted missile showcase a higher degree of accuracy. While missile and drones will occasionally get through as they could get out of range for the SAM system or manage to hide through the terrain or the SAM system is transported, reloaded or during maintenance. The most important number is the accuracy of hitting the target when fired. And looking over videos for the Iris T. It looks really impressive, shooting down multiple cruise missiles costing many millions of dollars each and claim to shoot down an Su-35S. While Ukraine's air defense is greatly improving as they are receiving NASM, Japard and the IRST with more, no SAM system is perfect especially with human operators but with the evidence seen to support on IRST. Ukraine's effectiveness in shooting down incoming objects will greatly increase with time. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.